Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So you won't believe what I'm up to today. So I am about five hours away from Kansas City right now and I'm getting ready to do a subscriber makeover at Sarah's house. I put out a call on our Facebook group about a month ago and I said, if you guys want me to come redo your space and you live five hours from Kansas City, then send me a picture of your house. I got several people who submitted um, their homes and I'm so grateful for you guys doing that. And I ended up picking Sarah. She has a craft room space that we're getting ready to go do a makeover on. You guys have to check out the back of my car. So much craft room goodness that we are bringing down with us. I have my husband with me, who is my trusty handyman. So Chris is gonna help me out because you know he's good at hanging everything and doing all the stuff that I'm not good at. So we are about ready to go to Sarah's house. So it's raining right now, but that's okay. We will see you whenever we get to her house. Thank you, Amira. Okay, Sarah, so tell me about why you wanted me to come and do a makeover. So, so this is funny, I joke about this, but it's really serious. I think God created me with a male brain. Uh, through several things I realized that, so I, I was not gifted the gift of decorating and, and putting things to look nicely, and so I need help. <laughs> so you're here to help me make my room look nice. That's perfect. And we are going to be doing a craft room space in Sarah's house. She has like the perfect room for a craft room. And when I heard she needed a craft room space, you guys know that I cannot say no to a craft room. So why did you want me to put together a craft room for you? Because I love crafting. So I, I joke that I, I have a male brain, but I love being creative. Um, I have girls and so with girls you end up making stuff all the time, different crafts. And right. so um, that was one room that I didn't have that I wanted. Yeah. And I've got all of my craft stuff kind of shoved in here. Mm -hmm. um, so I wanted an official craft room. Right. So the space that we're going to be working on is in Sarah's. It's right off of her living room space. And it's going to be the perfect spot in their house. We're going to make it functional for them as well as decorative. So it looks good whenever you walk into their house. So Sarah has the same problem that we all have. We have craft supplies all all over our house so what we're gonna do is take a look at what she has get it all in one area and then we'll make some organizational decisions All right, now that our room has been cleared off, now it's time to tackle the craft supplies back here. So Sarah, and then this is Amira, Sarah's daughter. And what are we doing, Amira? What do we have to do? Um, we're cleaning out our art room. And my mom, she loves doing art and sewing and stuff. So this will be a perfect space for all of us. Perfect. Okay, so if you guys are craft hoarders like us, you have a ton of craft supplies and it's really hard to get rid of them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through all of their craft supplies and we're gonna put them in three categories. So we're either going to keep them, the next category is gonna be donate. So if there's something that Sarah and Amira do not see themselves using in the next maybe, I would say year or two, we're gonna donate. And then we're gonna have a trash pile for things like old markers, old glue, old paint, things that just no one can get any use out of. We're gonna go ahead and toss those. So once we do that, then we're actually gonna start putting things in categories. So 
let's get started. The best thing to do whenever you are um, kind of trying to organize your craft space is just get everything in a central location. So Sarah did a great job doing that. So I told her just to put all your craft supplies in one location. So we're gonna start here on her table and just kind of figure out what's staying and what's going. All right, paint brushes. <laughs> okay, so Amira, why don't you go through, see which paint brushes we're keeping and which are gonna go. If you think something needs to be donated, we're gonna put it in this bag over on this side of the room. If it's trash, we're gonna put it over in this bag. And if it's keep, we will start setting it back here. Okay, so are we gonna use these? This all right trash. that was a really big decision sarah just made so all of these buttons she's not cloth diapering anymore we can move these on to a new <laughs> home all right so we just sorted through the scrapbook paper and we're keeping the 12 by 12 and the 8 by 10 paper i know a lot of us have scrapbooking stuff that we used to use but aren't really scrapbooking anymore but we can always use the paper in our house so i told sarah let's hold on to the paper next we're going to go through her yarn and see what we're going to keep and what we're going to get rid of Okay, I know you guys can relate to this. So Sarah has bags of Dollar Tree stuff. So we're gonna go through this, organize it, and figure out which categories it's gonna go into in the craft room so that she can get her crafts done. Those are cute though. Sarah got the snowflakes to do the snowflake garland. So this happens frequently where we have all these supplies, we have a bunch of crafts we wanna do. So what I kind of recommended to Sarah was having a spot for projects that are in the works, things we're getting ready to do. So we're gonna look at what she realistically wants to make and we're gonna put those in our to-do project pile. <laughs> you know guys, you know these are hard to find, okay? We can't get rid of those. So these are gonna go in our to-do project pile. So that's getting a little big, so we may have to whittle it down, we'll see. More Dollar Tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she found, she found the Buffalo Check scarves, guys. Okay, so you have something in mind for these, or what do you think? You know what, so somebody on one of your lives uh -huh. said, um, a DIY Christmas skirt. Perfect. So I thought, mm -hmm. I don't know how many I would need or if it would even work. I, I would thought, say like two or three. And what I was thinking for that, you guys, is just maybe hot gluing them, like keeping long pieces, hot gluing them together, and then wrapping it around after you hot glue. All right, Sarah's going to post it in the Facebook group when she gets her <laughs> Christmas tree skirt up. It might be next year, but you know. <laughs> we get a lot of great ideas in the Facebook group. So go check our Facebook group out, Lisbon McDIY group. There's so many great ideas there. So we finished up with all of our organizing. We're working on our last thing. Sarah is organizing her sewing basket. We think that it took us right under two hours to organize all of her craft stuff. So I hope you guys have a little bit of motivation to tackle your craft room. Now we're gonna be going home and then tomorrow morning, we're gonna start with decorating. Sarah and Amir are not gonna be able to see anything until it's all finished. So we'll see you again in the morning. Hey everyone, so I am back at Sarah's house. It is Saturday morning at 7 a.m. and we are back to start this makeover. Last night we brought in this large desk that Sarah wanted in the room. It's super cool, it's like this roll top desk 
and it's gonna be great for storage. So, you know, you can totally utilize things that are important to you in your family for your storage. So we're gonna incorporate that into her makeover. So right now, me and Chris are just gonna be bringing stuff into the space. Last night, he mapped out where he was going to put some shelving over here. So we just have a ton of work to do. So right now, we're going to be moving in a bunch of furniture. A workspace in here because I feel like every craft room needs a nice workspace so what I came up with was this white desk I found it for $10 at Habitat for Humanity Restore you guys know my favorite store and I think it's perfect in the space the best thing about it is it's on wheels so they can roll it around move it that way if they're doing a big project in the middle of their space they have the floor space so they can push it to the wall if they want to work on something they can pull it out or if they need extra space with their desk they can move it up and have extra workspace because I know Sarah does a lot of sewing and sometimes with sewing you need that extra workspace so I'm really happy with this white desk in the space so we're gonna be replacing her light fixture with uh, this one here so we're gonna go ahead and get started on that I think this light fixture is gonna work a lot better this one's a little bit older and the one we got is white so I think it's really gonna blend in well in this space and work for her because it's not a big space. You don't really want a huge light fixture. So I think this one's gonna be great. While Chris is installing the light fixture, I'm gonna be working on deciding where to put all the craft supplies. Sarah and I went through and organized all of her craft supplies and what we did was we put everything into categories. So then I went home last night and I wrote down a list of all of the categories we had. And then I've also drawn out the way her room's gonna look. So I know we have our dresser here and we're gonna have bins up top. So I just put each of those in categories. So I know exactly what's gonna go in each thing. I know what's gonna go in her desk. I'm gonna figure out what bins to put everything in and then I will show you what labels we're gonna be using. So I think it's gonna be super organized for Sarah and Amira. Yarn is always a great thing to display in your craft room. It's super colorful, and if you put it in a cute little basket, it looks just adorable. So we're gonna have this sitting out in her craft room. All right, so to organize the craft space, you guys know I went to Dollar Tree, and some of the bins that I'm gonna be using are these blue containers. These come in different colors, but I think they're perfect. We're kind of going with that duck egg blue theme in her room. I'm also going to be using these white bins. I picked up about 10 of these. They're so streamlined, so nice, and I think they just look so classy in any space, and they look way more expensive than a dollar. And then to make the labels kind of fancy, I picked up these chalkboard labels. So I think what my plan is for right now is I'm gonna fill my containers and then I'm gonna hot glue the chalkboard labels to my bins and then I'm gonna come back in with my label maker and put labels on top of the chalkboard um, little labels. So we'll see how that all looks. craft room needs lots of organization but you don't have to spend a lot of money I picked up this dresser back here for $20 at Habitat for Humanity you guys know I love that store and I always find the greatest deals so to paint the chest I'm using two coats of Annie Sloan duck egg blue which is one of my favorite colors and a color that Sarah requested for this makeover Since this piece was a dark blue to start with, I didn't want to distress this in any way. What I decided to do instead was use some white wax by Annie Sloan, and I just lightly buffed that onto the piece and pulled off any excess. 
Now I wanted to seal this piece because it was going to be used in a craft room and I usually always seal dressers. So I just came on with clear wax by Annie Sloan and I buffed that into the dresser and then just used a rag to pull off any excess. You can always go back and do additional coats of the clear wax. For this, I decided to just do one coat. And after a few days, it will harden and be a nice finish on your dresser. This dresser didn't come with any handles, so I used the handles that I purchased off of Amazon, and I used that, I don't know if you guys remember that little Ikea shelf, but I thought these would be perfect because they have labels on them. So I'm just using my label maker to put what all the contents are in each of the drawers. So I'm gonna fill up the drawers and then put the labels on. That way they know what's in each and every drawer. So easy. So Sarah has this great desk and it has a lot of organization in it. So that's gonna be great. Uh, one of the things she has a lot of is sewing. So I'm gonna primarily try to put her sewing supplies in here. I'm gonna keep her sewing machine up here because this is a great work surface. She can bring it down anytime she needs to sew. The next thing that I'm working on is last night we went through and kind of pared down all of her tools. So we have scissors, pencils, all that. Sarah already had this existing container. I think it's adorable. It fits great into our space. One thing that I brought that I thought would be cute to organize with is this really cute little wood crate. And I picked this up at the thrift store for just a couple of dollars. And inside I was able to fit four mason jars. So I'm gonna put pencils, pens, and this is gonna sit out on that white desk. It's the only thing we're gonna have out on that white desk. And I think it's gonna be perfect. So let's organize all those pens that are usually pretty tricky to get organized. So if you don't want your containers to move around in the drawer, a little trick for this is to get some poster mounting tack from Dollar Tree and you just take a little bit, put it on the underside and then stick your container down and it will hold in place as you're opening and shutting the drawers. So this green container I thought was perfect for all of Sarah's tools. So I'm just going to be putting in her crochet tools, some scissors, and then some punches. I created this in a past video and I'll put a link in the description box so you guys can watch the video on how I made this. Next, I'm going to organize all the drawers in her dresser and just put in the contents that we had organized from the previous day. And to keep yourself super organized, you want to add in your labels. So I just put some labels on each of the drawers. That way, Sarah and Amira would know exactly what goes in each drawer. It's a really great way to help keep yourself organized. So I found this chicken wire lid at Habitat for Humanity for just, I think it was around $3. I thought it was perfect, and I knew that it needed to go in this space. So what I did was I just roughly painted this with my Waverly white chalk paint. I wanted it to look worn. I didn't want it to be perfect by any means. And then Chris came in, he added some hangers on the back so that we could put it on the wall. My chicken wire art display is hung up now and just for a couple of dollars, I think this is gonna be a great way for Amira, Sarah's daughter, to display her art. So to hang them up, I asked Amira to give me a few of her pieces of artwork and then I also grabbed these little colorful clips that you can pick up at Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna put a few of those up there, hang up her artwork and she can change it out whenever she wants.
When I saw all these windows in this room, I knew that we needed some nice curtains. I felt like it would really soften up the space. And you guys know I love to get my curtains from Home Goods. They're such a good deal. I got these curtains in a two pack and I found this really soft blue that I thought would be great in this room. So I ended up getting four curtains. The curtain rod I picked up at Lowe's and I had to get a pretty long one so it went the length of the room. So it was 144 inches, which was about the length of our room and it fit perfectly. I think that the curtains made such a huge difference in the space. So now what me and Chris are working on are doing some shelving over on this wall. And I thought that I would give it that fun, modern twist that we all love. So the industrial shelving's really in right now. Uh, so we picked up some different components at the hardware store. These are 12 inches long. And then the boards that we're gonna be putting on top are 12 inches long as well. And then we also grabbed these caps. So these are actually gonna act as our support for the shelving as we hold it up. So it's gonna be really secure. We also grab these little clamps that we can attach to the bottom of the shelf to hold it in place. And this is just gonna give us so much more storage. So we're gonna put all of those Dollar Tree bins that I was labeling onto the shelf. So Sarah has quite a few plants that she likes to keep in this room, which makes sense because there's lots of windows and natural light. So I brought in this plant stand. It was a thrifted find for maybe $17, $18. And I just put some of her plants on each of the stands. And then she also had this larger pot and then she also has a really nice crock. So I'm gonna put that plant in this crock. To make these adorable signs for Sarah's room, I just used a shelf that I grabbed from the ReStore for a dollar, cut it in two, painted two coats of celery on top, and then just used my Cricut to cut out the vinyl lettering on top. So one says create it, the other one says make it. And I think these are adorable signs for any craft room. I really think every craft room needs a statement wall and this is definitely our statement wall. Not only does it look beautiful when you walk in the room and can see it, but it also provides so much function for us. So I was able to just use this dresser for all of our big craft stuff. And then up top, I have so many things organized with labels on it so they're gonna be able to find them so easily. One of the great finds I was able to pick up was this cool cabinet. I found it at a garage sale for $4. It was already painted white. I just distressed it a little bit, but I thought this would be perfect for putting in all of their paint supplies. And I made sure that I put it down at a level that a mirror could get to it. So I'm just gonna fill this up with all of their paints and then they'll be able to access them and see what they have. So I just had a few more projects to complete until we were all done. All right, you guys, we are all done with Sarah and Amira's craft room. I love the way it turned out and I really hope they enjoy it too. So I'm gonna go get them now 
and show them the space. No looking. <laughs> okay, so we have been here for less than 24 hours and we've completely remodeled your craft room. I hope you guys love it. So on the count of three, you can open your eyes. Okay. One, two, three. now it's very feminine yeah. and, and it looks great <laughs> thank you <laughs> all right so let's do a tour and i'll show you guys where everything's at this is where the majority of your guys' stuff is so down here this is the um, cabinet we made for you and then everything's on so this is your to-do cabinet so these are all of sarah's projects and then both of these are fabric <laughs> <laughs> We're a little so tired. So <laughs> and then this one says Amira. So Amira, you can put whatever you want in there, whatever you think. And then over here, Amira loves her slime. So we have all of her slime <laughs> stuff in here. And then this one is scrapbooking. So there's all the scrapbooks. And then last night you guys did such a good job of making. Sarah had her desk here. She really wanted to add her desk to the room, and I think it's perfect. It really had a lot of storage for us. So I put your sewing machine here, but if you don't want to keep it out and you want to work there, you can always like set it up here too. And I think it like makes it multifunctional. So that was cute. the chair I had at my house. I was like, I think that would work good in this space because I wanted to go like greens and blues. So I think it's just fresh and it's. Perfect in here with all the windows. Yeah. You can make slime with me. I know <laughs> I can make slime with you. I know. I wanted you to have like a big workspace so that you could work. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's really it's amazing. such a good time putting together this craft room for Sarah and Amira and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this transformation this is a new video for my channel so you're gonna have to let me know do you like it is this something you would like to see in a future episode I loved coming to one of my subscribers house and making over her room I greatly value your comments and your opinions so please let me know if you'd like to see this style of video again because I need to know your guys' feelings. Do you want me to do this or just stick with the DIYs? So let me know in the comments below. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and I'll link our last video here and I'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye.